Hi. So recently with current circumstances, I've been given a little bit more time to develop myself and learn about what's going on in the industry. I really wanted to focus on what BCS was doing. You see, BCS does an awful lot. It touches lots of different parts of the industry. And today I want to learn a little bit around apprenticeships. Now, it dawned on me that maybe you would be interested in learning a little bit around that as well. So I'm going to speak to Tony Pitchford. He is the key account manager for apprenticeships. Now, if there is a man that's going to be able to tell you all you need to know about apprenticeships and the current situation and you know how to make the best of it, it's probably going to be him. Right. How are you doing? Hi, Nick. Doing well? I'm very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. Good, good to hear. Um, I wanted to learn a little bit more around apprenticeships, and uh, you're probably the best person to talk to around this. Um, I wanted to understand a little bit more about what BCS are doing to support apprentices, apprenticeships, you know, considering the current situations. And if you're happy to talk around a little bit around the benefits and how we can help, that would be really good. So BCS offers endpoint assessment on demand for 16 digital standards. That's uh, soon to be 17. We're working on getting our appro our application in for uh, the new DevOps level four standard. With regards to the delivery of our services and products around apprenticeships, we're running as close to business as usual as we possibly can. Uh, apprenticeships are still carrying on regardless of the situation we find ourselves in with COVID-19. Even if an apprentice is furloughed, they can still continue their own study towards endpoint assessment and to taking vendor and knowledge module exams as part of their program. Gathering evidence in the workplace can still carry on if they are working from home. Even if they are furloughed, they can continue to write up their projects and work towards their 20% off the job training. So providers, employers and apprentices can still keep that momentum going with their apprentices and continue to make progress towards endpoint assessment. The focus for BCS in all of this has been continue to continue to wrap that support around the apprentice and the training provider and the employer as much as possible. It is vital that apprentices can continue to work towards their uh, portfolio and gather evidence wherever possible. And we've tried to make sure that uh, the mechanisms are in place to support that as far as we possibly can. A good example of, of this is that we've worked very closely with the organisations that um, govern apprenticeships in England. And we've been able to secure uh, a, an agree, a degree of flexibility around the delivery of the endpoint assessment. So for example, uh, the synoptic project that's required as part of the endpoint assessment can be now taken at home and invigilated remotely using something like Microsoft Teams or Zooms, Zoom uh, by the training provider. Knowledge module exams, uh, where before the apprentice would need to take the knowledge module exams before they got to uh, the uh, gateway and, and entered into endpoint assessment. Now there's some flexibility there that if that is not possible to, to deliver the exam prior to the gateway, they can now take those knowledge module exams and the vendor qualifications during the endpoint assessment process. So there's a great degree of flexibility in the process and the way that endpoint assessments are managed. And we've been able to adapt very quickly to this kind of new way of working. In addition to that, BCS has opened up remote proctor exams for all of our knowledge, all of our knowledge module exams included in, in each of the standards. We're also working on uh, a process to enable providers to invigilate one-to-one -one exams, again, using Microsoft Teams or Zoom or GoToMeeting uh, to allow a great degree of flexibility uh, uh, for the, the kind of pr making progress around uh, knowledge modules and continuing on with that learning journey. One of the things that we have really tried to do is to make sure that providers had a clear channels of communication and clear guidance. That's not always possible to get uh, when you've got lots of different organizations uh, working to, uh, to provide you with information. So BCS has worked hard to summarize the available guidance and to make it available to all of our training providers through our provider SharePoint um, site. So there are regular updates and newsletters coming out through that. We've also recorded webinars on our current COVID-19 strategy, the response that we have available and the work that's going on behind the scenes at BCS to uh, keep providers uh, moving their apprentices forward. We also recorded webinars on BCS membership and springboard for apprentices 
uh, um, and the package that we have that includes access to plural site the e-learning support uh, package and that will allow apprentices to continue and develop their learning and skills remotely in addition to the work that the training providers are doing with them as account managers, myself and my colleagues were working hard to make sure that there's a human being at the end of the line uh, who can uh, take uh, providers calls, speak to employers and even work with apprentices in some, uh, in some cases. And we're speaking to colleges, providers uh, and employers all the time to make sure that they understand exactly what BCS is doing to make sure that we're as close to business as usual as possible in the delivery of endpoint assessments. But apprentices are at the heart of everything we do at BCS. And the flexibility that we've been able to put in place allows them to stay safe, stay indoors, um, but it also allows them to keep making progress towards their apprenticeship and to go into endpoint assessment, feeling confident that they, they know what the process is and what's, uh, what's expected of them. If anyone wants any more information, they can go to the BCS website or they can contact me direct on LinkedIn. That's Tony Pitchford, P-I-T-C-H-F-O-R-D on LinkedIn. Uh, take care and stay safe.